Hello and welcome to the Midday. I'm Courtney Fisher with your news update. Fort Bend County Precinct 4 Deputy Constable Caleb Rule was killed by friendly fire early this morning. Deputies say they were inside a vacant house checking a report about a suspicious person when they mistook Deputy Rule for an intruder and shot him to death. Deputies say this was a tragic case of mistaken identity. The Texas Rangers are now joining the investigation. A Houston police officer shot and wounded a man he says hit him with a pipe. Police say the officer had just detained two people when the suspect came from behind and attacked him. The officer shot the suspect. The suspect is expected to survive. The officer went to the hospital with minor injuries. Parts of Minneapolis are burning this morning after a third straight night of protests. The unrest is related to Houston native George Floyd, who died in police custody Monday. Last night, rioters stormed a police substation and set it on fire. Similar clashes erupted in protests all across the country. The four officers involved in Floyd's death were fired. His family is demanding they face criminal charges. Now to the COVID-19 pandemic, we just learned a temporary hospital will go up inside the NRG Center. FEMA will foot the $2 million bill for the 150-bed hospital. You might recall the county spent $60 million to build a temporary hospital in the parking lot of NRG Park, but it was dismantled after it was determined it wouldn't be needed. And big news from Aggie Land, Texas A&M University announced it will reopen campuses this fall. The plan calls for social distancing, smaller classes and longer school days to reduce congestion between classes. A phased in arrival on campus is set to begin in August. As for student and health issues, the school says it will be set up for them to decide whether or not to come back to campus. Las Vegas is getting ready to reopen next week, and it's giving us an inside look at the steps being taken to protect people from COVID-19. The Bellagio and Flamingo Hotels will be the first to open their doors. Evidence of the new normal was everywhere. They include plexiglass between players, and the number of seats at the tables were reduced from six to three people. But what about those playing pieces? We're going to be regularly cleaning the, the cards uh, and the dice, like for example, in craps. Every time a new shooter take the dice, the dice will be disinfected. In an effort to encourage people to return to Las Vegas, one hotel offered 1,000 free flights, all of which were gone within two hours. SpaceX and NASA will try once again to make history with the launch of Demo 2 mission. Here's a live look right now at Cape Canaveral. You can see that the Falcon 9 rocket right there and the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Wednesday's launch was scrubbed due to weather. It's rescheduled for tomorrow at 2.22 p.m. And if all goes well, SpaceX will have launched its first ever manned mission. It will also be the first time NASA astronauts launched from U.S. soil since the shuttle fleet retired back in 2011. Of course, you can watch tomorrow's launch right here on ABC 13 or on the 13 News app. That's going to do it for the Midday. I'm Courtney Fisher. Have a great day.